the Morris J-Type, a venerable old van that thanks to its cute and cuddly looks brought a smile to the faces of British people in the 1950s. And now it's back in a 21st century edition. This van is really a revolution, bringing the technology of electrification to sustainability as well and to lightweight. It just makes everybody happy. It just brings happiness back to the van market. The Morris always was an iconic style, and we have very much continued that style. The J-Type gave the post-war British economy a much-needed boost. The Morris J-Type was popular because of its fantastic volume of the van. For post-war Britain, the J-Type became what the VW bus was for West Germany. Morris built 60,000 units between 1949 and 1960, and now it's made an all-electric comeback. We had a concept of making a, a very lightweight electric van that was designed to be electric from the start, and we actually had access to a couple of original J-types. The project was initiated by Ku Li, a businesswoman with decades of experience in the car industry. She acquired the rights to Morris Commercial, the company that built the original J-Type. Lee teamed up with former Bentley executive John Killick to found a startup. Their mission, to continue making vans that stood out from the crowd in the new millennium too. Uh, uh, women in the van world and uh, I believe we should bring some glamour into the van. Why every van have to be white, you know, boxy and why cannot be, you know, uh, something, uh, you know, really attractive. So I like to build the vehicle are uh, desirable and uh, sustainable. And the Morris J-Type provided an ideal basis, a vehicle with a quirky appearance that, to this day, makes it a popular choice for marketing and adverts. Although the Morris J-Type was a utilitarian vehicle, it was a van after all, it had enormous style and presence and stood out from other vans of the time like that. And that is partly why we've adopted that as the design cue for the new Morris JE. The Morris JE, the E standing for electric, is not just a straightforward retro copy of the original, although it has taken on board its most important features. From the old iconic J-Type, which was released in 1948, we have this fantastic grille, which is unique to that, and is, is the face of Morris Commercial, like that. We have taken that quite faithfully onto the new style, and the new Morris JE very much carries over the smiling face and the personality that first came out in 1948. And all the things that made the old model so practical and so appreciated can be found in its successor, too. Another key feature of the 1948 vehicle, which was in its day, was called the Big Little Van. Uh, it had a great capacity, it has this curved roof line, so low at the front, but a big curve, and we've carried that very much into the JE, which also has a high centre of the roof, gives a great rear capacity. Having the cabin in front of the front axle and the engine between the drivers and passenger seats was a revolution in utility vehicle design. The chassis provided the base for a wide range of body styles, from delivery truck to ice cream van. While the electric powertrain has meant a number of changes, the underlying principle has been retained. The chassis was designed in a way that enables the vehicle to be used as a minibus, camper van or pickup. So the, the new JE is, is a complete reimagination of the original J-Type. And as the J-Type itself was known in its day for innovation, so is the JE now. These days, efficiency is the priority in e-car design. And as efficiency begins with the weight factor, the entire chassis, including the base plate for the batteries, was fashioned by hand from aluminum. While the JE's body is a carbon fiber construction. 
A key feature of the JE is the fully recycled carbon fibre body. Uh, this, of course, is beautifully painted, but we can see some of the carbon on the inside of the cargo area here. And the main benefit is this, we have only 140 kilogram weight of the body, and that does a great deal to offset the weight of the battery and gives us a superb range and superb payload. And that gives the user less journeys to transport the same, the same goods. And then there's the one big difference between the two models. So the key innovation is the electrical power unit which we can see a small amount of in here. We have the charge unit, we have the power distribution unit, and right down below is the motor and the inverter system. So access to the charge port is through here, like this, and we incorporate a vehicle-to-grid electrical charging system and vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle charging system. The J-Type, born in 1948, and the JE from 2022, each is innovative, practical and pretty in its own way. So which is the more attractive vehicle? So comparing the old and the new, which would you say is more sexy? Well, I would have to say the new is. Let's just say that sitting at the wheel of an old J-Type is something of a unique experience. Yes, driving this, you realise just how hard work it was in those days. The, the steering is quite hard, it's three-speed gearbox, performance is limited. Driving this, I do feel like I'm in the 2020s, even though the, the retro style is so similar, we've moved forward 60 years or so. Successfully shaping the future means understanding the past, a notion that the British startup has translated to the road with the Morris JE, a vehicle that brings together the best of different eras of automotive engineering.